Traveling down 4th Avenue, it's hard to miss the flycatcher and its signature big smile painted over its wall. It's amazing, it's, it's neat, it's fun. Soon, that smile and building will disappear to be torn down so a brand new apartment complex can take its place. I mean, it's totally the end of an era and it's a Tucson institution that's leaving. Um, you know, this this building's been here forever along with this bar and so it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for Tucson and for future generations. The company taking over the flycatcher location also owns the student housing complex called The District across the street. The Memphis-based company has said the new 250-unit complex will not be student-focused. Yet, Henderson and her friends are not convinced. They're worried about the increased cost of living. Just even the last few years, we've noticed like how rents have been going up, especially since all these high rises and the student housing and everything's gone in. It's just it's making all of our rents go up, and we're yeah. you know we're local Tucson residents. We're here 12 months out of the year. Others who've also been coming to the flycatcher for years say they're sad to see it go, but are hopeful the change will be positive for the city. You know, I don't know that a seven-story building is going to, I don't know how it will affect 4th Avenue. I hope that it does. It's for the good, for the better. Valerie, the developer said their goal is to begin construction sometime this summer. Was it packed today? It was It was sort of moving throughout the day. Um, the girls who I spoke with in that story say they are going to take a little break in between. They're going to go back again tonight uh, to see that official closing. All right. Thank you, Ivan.